Aeromancer releases in four weeks, and I'm gonna show you how to prep properly for when she finally drops. So we know that we're getting a very juiced event. You're gonna get to 1490 pretty easily. Plus you're gonna get honing support all the way to 1540, which is massive. Let's get into making the best first week possible. Also a quick tip, make sure you do Argos before you hit 1475. It's a free thousand gold and it doesn't count towards your gold earning activities, but do not do your Areha Abyss Dungeons because Abyss Dungeons do count as your gold earning activities and you do not want to waste it on that. So what's the best way to get the silver, gold, all the rest of these materials? Well, let's go over it. The best place to get silver from is going to be your dailies, specifically the Chaos Dungeon and your Unis Task. So make sure that you're doing plenty of those so that you have that three or four million silver to hone Aeromancer past 1490 on that first week. Doing your Chaos Dungeons in the Guardian Reigns will also give you tradable reds and blues. Also with your Guardian Reigns, it gives you tradable Marvelous Honor Leaf Stones. In four weeks is plenty of time for you to be doing either Hanumaton or Kaliligos to stock up a lot of these so that you can get your Aeromancer past 1500 and do Braille Gates one through four that first week. Another couple places to get tradable mats for your Aeromancer is these Challenge Abyssal Dungeons and this Challenge Guardian Raid. They are gonna give you a lot of mats that you can use over the next four weeks, so make sure and do these. These are super quick activities. So don't skip over them. And a really quick tip to earn more gold over the next four weeks is to not hone any alts. If you have them, they suck up a lot of gold honing them unless they're under 1490 now because it doesn't cost any gold, but you still have to buy fusion materials and things like that for them or create them in your stronghold, which again, costs gold. So try not to hone any alts if you're really trying to save up that 30 or 40,000 gold. But once you save that 30 or 40,000 gold, just make sure and keep it there. You can buy other stuff if you get more gold, but just make sure and keep that 30 to 40,000 gold there so that it is saved, if you will, for your Aeromancer because that is what you're gonna need to hone her to 1500 plus that first week. And a very easy way to start saving up on your honing books for the road to 1490 because lots of times your, the luck just doesn't go your way and the event is not gonna give you enough books. So you have to end up buying them or you know whatever it may be. So here's an easy way to get them for free. So come over here to the Legion Raid Exchange vendor and start buying these chests. And actually, I, I need to go ahead and buy them as well. You get 10 armor honing books and two weapon honing books per week at this vendor. So make sure and be buying those and stocking up on them for the next four weeks. You should have plenty to spare along with the rest of them that you'll get from the event. And then for the advanced books that look like this, you'll want to come right over here to the event vendor. You can do this in any town. You're gonna wanna come over here and buy these from the shop. They aren't too expensive. It only costs a couple of dailies worth of Maharaka leaves. So make sure and be buying these as well. And if you can, go ahead and start stocking up on the ancient books as well because you'll definitely be needing and using them. Aside from just the honing books, the event is a great place to be getting all the rest of your honing materials. As you can see, I already bought most of those out. If you're trying to go to Brel three and four, the first week, it's gonna be relatively easy. With the event, you're gonna be getting relic armor straight off the bat. When you get to 1490 and all of your pieces are plus 20, you're actually gonna need to take one of those pieces, preferably an armor piece, don't waste the money on the weapon, 221. Then when you go into Brel Gates 1 and 2, you're going to get the chests. Of course, you don't even need to buy the bonus chest or even bid on it. There's going to be plenty of people doing that. So this is a good opportunity to earn some gold. And with that one piece that you're going to be able to make with your ancient armor, you are going to take that piece of armor to 1540, which is only going to cost you about 10k gold, 2 million silver. And look at these mats. That's not bad, guys. You can definitely save those up over the next three or four weeks. Now, after you take this piece to 1540 and make sure that you do not transfer your relic piece that is 1505 plus 21, do not take that one to 1540. 
get one of your 1490 pieces, transfer that to your ancient armor, then take that to 1540. That will give you a piece of armor that is 1540, one that's 1505, and then four that are 1490, and you will be 1500. Then you'll be able to go to gates three and four, take the bonus loot from those gates, and guess what? You're gonna make another piece of armor, but you won't be able to get to 1520 this week unless you're absolutely juicing. So don't worry about it. Just transfer that piece over, level it up as much as you like. If you wanna do all Gates of Brel first week, which I really don't recommend you do this, I believe you have to get two 1580 pieces. So I really, really don't recommend that you do this because it's so expensive. You're gonna have to save a lot of materials. As you can see, there's really no need to do five and six the first week. So I don't recommend you do that. This is without a doubt gonna be the most relaxed class release in terms of pumping the first week because you're gonna be time gated by the Brelshaza raids and transferring your 1490 gear to your Brelshaza ancient gear. So for most people, you really just need to be prepping for the next four weeks casually and you'll have plenty to be able to take her to 1500 the first week and get into Brel gates one through four and having an awesome time. And I'm hoping that they give us a five by three engraving support this time around. It really does not make sense that we're getting four by threes, but we're going straight into Brelshaza. Not many people are going to accept you as a four by three. They should know this. So five by three is much more appropriate in my opinion. I'm hoping that they change it to that. So there won't really be a need to buy accessories right this second, or even the legendary engraving books as soon as they come out, if this is the case. <sighs> Let's just pray hard, boys and girls. But I am super excited for this class release. I don't know which class engraving I want to play. They both look super fun. I'm probably gonna go towards a drizzle just because it just seems like a bit slower APM as the other build for Storm Fury is uh, full swiftness, I believe. So I tend not to go full swiftness classes, but let me know in the comments which one you are wanting and are very excited to try out. Or if you're gonna make something different, maybe you're gonna make a sharpshooter from this event. But let me know down in the comments what you're excited for. There are a lot of class changes coming. I'm assuming the class balance patch is gonna be coming out in August as well. So that's even more reason to try out some of the other classes besides Aeromancer. Like this video if you're hyped for Aeromancer to come out finally. And consider subscribing to the channel if you like Lost Ark. We are almost at 3,000 subs and I know that we can get there with your help. And this wouldn't be a proper outro unless I mentioned my amazing, positive, friendly Discord. So if you're trying to find one of those, join my Discord and I will see you on the next video.